is the sound of Mother Nature. I'm here at the Chaudière Bridge, which connects Ottawa and Gatineau, and it's been shut down for obvious concerns. Residents here are expecting water levels to peak either Tuesday or Wednesday. But right now we're coping. My wife has a little bit of more difficulty. Three weeks ago, Marcel Fortier underwent cancer surgery, and now this. To make matters worse, his home is at the end of this river, which used to be a roadway. We're the oldest couple on the street, and I'll tell you, garden angels, they're all garden angels. People are checking on us, they're helping us. Fortier lives in Rockland, just east of Ottawa. The military was called into the area on Sunday. Only two years ago, residents here dealt with the same problem. I think right now it's probably close to what we had two years ago. But it, as far as I'm hearing, it's expected to rise. Thousands in the region have been volunteering and leaders are pleading for more help. Ottawa City Hall says more than 700 members of the armed forces are currently helping residents and 21 people have voluntarily left their homes. Fortier is trying not to let the situation stress him out. I just came through four years of cancer. Surgery three weeks ago. I can't. I got to be careful what I lift, you know. And it's stress to a minimum. We're coping well with stress. Environment Canada is calling for a high chance of rain and drizzle over the next two days, raising fears and water levels. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.